everyone. Welcome to the Vasilis and Christina cooking show. Vasilis, where in the world are you today? So I'm in uh, Los Angeles here with you guys. I really enjoy my time here. And today I'm very glad that you're gonna give me a, you show me how to do this special recipe. It's called, hmm. In Italiano. In Italian, yeah, of course in Italian. Milanza. Milanza alla parmesana. Yeah. And it's eggplant parm. I, like, I love eggplant. I'm from Greece. We do moussaka and all these things with eggplant, so I love this recipe. He picked it out from my book, Cooking with Italian Roots. And guys, don't we love his accent? We just like need to have more videos with him. Okay, so we're gonna make him do all the work. So we'll see how he does with cooking and how it all tastes right. at the end. Yep. Okay, so first we're gonna make the sauce that's gonna be the base to the entire dish. So this is really important. Don't screw this up. No, I will do my best. Okay, so yeah. let's walk through the ingredients. So we've got some olive oil, we've got fresh garlic, always use fresh garlic. We have um, crushed tomatoes and fresh basil, salt, and some Parmesan cheese. So first we're going to put just a couple drops of olive oil olive into oil, the pan. Yeah. Of course. Is that, is that enough? Yeah, that's yes. It's good. The sauce is only about a 20 minute sauce, so you can make it with pasta on a weeknight, whatever. We're gonna add the garlic in. Okay. First, we're gonna mince one more clove of garlic. I add one more, yeah, of course. So, Vasilis okay. is using a garlic press. This is my favorite tool, it's linked on my website. It's, you can put the garlic clove right in the garlic press and it squeezes the garlic out. You don't have to peel it, it's so easy. It'll save you so much time and digging for garlic bolts. So it's the best. See? So we've got nice minced garlic here and we're just gonna toss it in. Okay. Okay, we have the garlic sizzling. That's what you wanna stop. You don't wanna over brown the garlic. Okay, now we're gonna add the crushed tomatoes. Yep, the whole thing? The whole thing. All right. Oops, 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 oops. That's okay. Oops. We got it? We got it. And that'll kind of stop the garlic mm. too from cooking. It smells great already. And we just rinse the can a little bit with the water. You don't want to waste ah, okay. the, with the water. Yeah. It's like maybe a quarter of the can just splash around. Like that? Mm hmm. Okay, the right. Oops, 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 oops. All right, we got tomato all over us now. Okay. And just give that a little stir. Yeah. We always want to get tomatoes imported or San Marzano. Usually people have their own favorite brand, um, but definitely splurge on the tomatoes. And then we've got some fresh basil and we're just going to throw that in. Mmm, that's the best plan in the world. <laughs> Really, literally, uh, I love it. I love it. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. All right. Mm. You can buy it pre-grated. I always get imported though. Your Parmesan cheese is very important as well. You don't want to skimp. Or you can also get a fresh Parmesan cheese wedge and just add it in. All right. Beautiful. And then we just finish with some salt. Okay. So we'll do four pinches. Four pinches, like uh, like that. Yeah. Okay. Like this much. Yep. One, that's good. Two. It's about a teaspoon of salt. Three. Four. four. There okay. we go. Perfect. And let's show everybody. So this is it. It hasn't you know simmered yet. We're gonna allow it to simmer about twenty minutes. And we'll let that sort of bubble while we're preparing the eggplant. So now it's time to make the eggplant. So we've got some vegetable oil to fry the eggplant in. We've got our fresh eggplant thinly sliced, as thin as you can get it. We've got some flour to dredge the eggplant with. First we coat the, the eggplant. And then we've got some eggs. We'll drench it in some an egg, Parmesan, salt and pepper mix. Okay. So first we're going to oil? heat some oil in a pan. Yeah. So you don't have to pour the whole thing, just okay, enough to coat the bottom. Okay. And we're gonna get that nice and heated. Is it enough? You're gonna coat the entire bottom the entire of the pan. Room. Yeah. 
Okay, that's good. All right. Now we're gonna take our five eggs mm -hmm. and we're going to add Parmesan. Okay, in the eggs, okay. Yes, okay, okay. toss it in. Yeah, the whole, the whole thing. The whole thing. All right, good. And then we're gonna do a large pinch each of salt and pepper. Okay, a large one. Yeah, about a quarter teaspoon. All right, so that was a large one. Small pinch is normally eighth, large pinch, quarter. And then we will give that a beat. So go ahead and beat the eggs. All right. Oh, nice. You don't have to be afraid of it. You could just beat it. Okay. Uh, I'm not. I'm not very good at that. You can see. You can see. You can. So Here, so try me. This and way. I, yeah. Okay. Like try like holding it like this. Yeah. Uh huh. And you can even like. Right? Ooh, Pull okay. the bowl like yeah. that. That's the yeah, Okay. Okay. Might have to break the cheese up a little bit. I will, I will. Okay, like. Perfect. A tip for Parmesan cheese, you can keep your Parmesan in the in the freezer and it'll keep it fresher longer. So I like to keep it in the freezer mm -hmm. and it cooks just fine. You can use it just fine, it just keeps it fresher longer. What's okay, next? now we're gonna take one slice at a time. You're gonna coat it, pat it in the flour, right. lightly pat. So let's show everybody what we're doing here. So go ahead. Uh, okay, I'll do the, like, all right, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. Yep. Okay. And then we're gonna dip it in the egg. Oh, oh all right. Like yeah, that. don't be afraid to get your yeah, hands like ready. That. Yep. Okay. Yep, and then Ooh, okay, this is gonna you be see so how, good. so let the egg just kind of drip off a little bit. Yep. No, yeah, and you're gonna place it right in the oil. And we're starting to fry the eggplant. Oh no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 for good, for good, yeah. Okay. And then it just roll up, drip off. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You're so gentle with it. Yeah. And then <laughs> eggplant is his favorite, so he doesn't want to. I love eggplant. Yeah. And I feel ruin like... the slices of eggplant. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're frying it. This is what it looks like. Mm. Got a nice golden color. It smells very Don't good. Don't want to get it too brown. Super easy, it just takes a little bit of time to fry all the eggplant. So again, it's eggplant dipped in flour and then the egg and Parmesan. All right, so how does the sauce smell? I'm sure that this recipe, this the, the outcome is gonna be. <laughs> so now we're gonna pre prepare the dish, the casserole dish. So we've got a cast iron. If you're doubling the recipe, you can use a nine by 13 casserole dish. Mm -hmm. We have our fried eggplant. Let's just show you how beautiful this looks. You can see how beautiful it looks. <laughs> We've got our sauce ready to go and we have fresh mozzarella. Do not buy pre-grated, pre-shredded mozzarella cheese. Buy the blocks and grate it yourself, shred it yourself. Um, the quality of the cheese will make a difference in the taste of the dish. And then we have Parmesan that we're going to grate. Okay. All right. Oh. So you want to put, it's about two ladles of sauce. You want to have enough so it kind of, it's going to bubble in the oven and really cook up the eggplant. Okay, now we're going to put a layer of eggplant. Okay. So just a flat layer. They don't need to overlap. So the sauce creates the base. Then we put the eggplant and we start the layers. We'll probably All get right. there. One more. Yep. There we go. Okay, there. so then we're gonna put another layer of sauce. Nice. 
Then we're gonna put shredded mozzarella. Okay. Mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Okay, like a layer, right? Just a layer, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we wanna kind of cover it, but just enough. And the mozzarella, when you're using fresh, it's gonna be like crumbly. It's not gonna look like the mozzarella like when you buy it shredded, pre-shredded in the store. Is this enough? Yeah, I think it's good. And then we're gonna add a layer of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan? Yeah. yeah. This is a special vintage grater, Parmesan grater. Yeah, that's... Vasilis is an my, expert my, now after my, making this dish. My mom had one of those, yeah. His mom had one of these. Yeah, I remember that. This looks like a pizza right now. Yeah, it's going it to be like... sort of like a pizza. Yeah. All right. Okay, it's about... this okay? Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. So you can see, this is what it looks like. Okay, and then we're going to sort of keep um, layering. Another layer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whoa! It's gonna be so good. So good. Okay. <sighs> Another ladle of sauce. Okay. More mozzarella cheese. More mozzarella. Okay. I'll be there. All right. He's getting his hands dirty <laughs> for me, so I can <laughs> so I can stand here pretty. <laughs> And parmesan. I love both. It, it feels so fresh though, doesn't it? When you use the yeah. fresh one? Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's true, yeah. Okay. No? And then more parmesan. More parmesan. I would say go, because it's supposed to be five tablespoons. Mm -hmm. So I would say just like really go crazy with it. All right. So we need more. Okay, now more eggplant. More eggplant. Mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Mozzarella. What's your favorite cheese? I do love this one to bring to parties. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the cookbook does have 50 recipes and they're all sort of, I picked my favorites out of memories that I learned to make with my grandmother or dishes that I, uh, that I make. Um, like every Easter, the lamb is like, my favorite every Thanksgiving I make the pumpkin pie that's really really good yeah um, and I love the, the gavadils okay with and I make it with sausage and broccoli and I'll have that during the week uh -huh. so um, I have recipes that could be made during the week I have them that could be made for dinner parties special occasions So we're gonna put one more layer on. One more. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna use the rest of the eggplant. All right. So we have the finished casserole. Mm. Oh, it's very heavy. Maybe you mm -hmm. should hold it. Um, we're gonna put this in the oven. Now the eggplant is baking, and we're gonna make some pasta. Yes, yeah, my first time. I'm making pasta, handmade pasta. Uh, we made the. Well, how you say it? I pre-made the dough and we just rolled it out oh, into yeah. flat sheets. You can kind of see very flat, yeah. very translucent, <laughs> very, thin. very thin. And we're going to use a chitara. This is a classic Italian spaghetti or linguine maker. It's by hand. It's not the music instrument because uh, but I thought this. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can actually play. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to make some pasta today. Okay. Vasilis is very excited about this. Okay, so first we're, we need to make sure that the length fits within the strings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to cut this so that it fits. Now we're going to put it on top. We've got it on the spaghetti one. I'm going to press it in. Okay, and then I'm just going to I'm going to take the, the rolling pin and I'm going to press it into the 
strings. And then if I apply some pressure, starts to go through the grate. Oh yeah. Yeah, we did trust that. All right. Okay, now to get it out, we shake it out. We got, we got pasta. We got pasta. <laughs> That's great. Okay, now you do. Okay, let me try. So, we have finished our dinner. <laughs> How was the experience? It was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I made things that I've never done before, like making pasta. What was your favorite uh, part? Uh, I think my, the, the favorite part is going to be when I will try this, like the whole the whole thing. So here it because, is. Yeah. Whoa. Yum. Let's... We'll finish with a little bit of... Parmesan. Parmesan. Yeah, of course. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for cooking with me. Thank you for having me. And if you want more content, we have a podcast episode that is airing late in a few months. Follow What Lights Is Up podcast show. Check it out so you don't miss it. Okay. You ready? Perfect. We're going to try it. Yeah. Let's try. Good. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> Good. That's we've incredible. got. We've got to go. We've got to. This is incredible. A tinker. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>